trying to inspect an element and pff, it's gone. It's like your code is playing hide and seek with you. But don't worry, Chrome DevTools is here to help you catch those sneaky elements. One common scenario is that elements disappear when you move your mouse away. This often happens because of the CSS hover state. Go to the elements panel, find the parent element that's giving you trouble. Then in the styles tab, activate the hover state to keep the element visible. See, you have frozen it. Now you can change the styles while it's stuck there. This works for other CSS states as well. Sometimes elements disappear when they or the whole page loses focus. This can happen with drop downs, two tips, or other interactive elements. For example, bootstraps popovers disappear when you click somewhere else. They use the pages focus event to determine the dismissal, which you can check in the console with document.hasfocus. The moment you click on the page, it returns true. When you click on DevTools, the page loses focus, making the popover disappear. To fix this, you have to trick the page into thinking it is always focused. In the Styles tab, enable the Emulate a Focus Page option. It's like a magic spell that keeps everything visible. This setting used to be hidden in the rendering panel. We recently added a shortcut in the Styles tab to make it easier to find. This is a global setting that persists. Once you enable it, it will always be on. Hmm. One thing to note though, if you are using the Page Visibility API, make sure to turn it off when you are debugging user interactions that depend on it. For example, if you have a script that runs when the page is fading in the background, the visibility change event won't fire. The document.visibility state will remain visible. Now, what about other cases where JavaScript is involved? Often, Elements are removed or hidden because of events like blur, mouse out, or custom events. There are two options to freeze these elements. In this example, the card preview shows and hides based on the mouse over and mouse leave event. Select the parent element in the DOM tree and open the event listeners tab. Expand the mouse leave event and you can remove it. Now, the pop-up shows and never leaves. Edit all you want, then reload the page to reset the listener again. Removing listeners is helpful, but sometimes you might want to keep the event. Instead, you can use the break on options to debug disappearing elements. If you look closely, when you hover over the button, it changes the CSS class name of the card preview. Let's right click on it and choose break on. There are three options here. In our case, we want to freeze the screen when the CSS class name changes, so we will choose attribute modifications. The right choice depends on what you are doing. You might want to pause on removal or when sub elements change. You have to observe and decide. Great. When we hover again, it breaks right at the beginning of the class name change. Step over it and you can see the card preview. Keep it this way, and you can inspect and change the styles as you need. All the breakpoints you added in the DOM are shown in the DOM breakpoints tab. Be sure to clear them out when you are done. Actually, since our example is so simple, we can just edit the DOM to add the class name ourselves. This is even faster. Here come the best solution. When you need a quick fix and don't care how the element is disappearing, Try these freeze techniques. The debugger statement can help you freeze the screen. So what you can do is delay it for a certain amount of time with set timeout. This code gives you a three second countdown before freezing everything. Do what you need to do before it ends. Here is a bonus tip. Save the code as a snippet so you can just run it the next time you have the same problem. I named the snippet FreeSeed 3000. You can name it as you wish. Once you save the snippet, you can run it over and over again. Even better, you can run it from anywhere. 
Open the command menu again with Command or Control Shift P. Then use the exclamation mark to select and run our free script. All right. Now we know six ways to freeze the screen and debug disappearing elements. Which one is your favorite? Leave your comments below. That's all for now. Good luck debugging. See you in the next DevTools tips. Ciao.